Hello dear 6th graders and welcome to your new English lesson. The topic of today's lesson is spring. My name is Tayana Bundara and I will be your teacher today. In today's lesson you are going to watch a video on what spring looks like around the world. You are also going to learn some idioms on spring and finally you are going to design a poster containing three top places from the video, of course, according to your choice. And I hope you will be able to use those idioms in your poster activity. So, let's start. Okay, let's set up. This is what you need. A pen or a pencil, your English notebook, your mobile phone with a QR code reader and, of course, internet connection. So, what does spring mean to you? Shaking of the winter? Traveling? Meeting new people and cultures? Outdoor activities? Picnics in nature with your family and friends? Spending more time in nature. Are you full of the joys of spring then? Do you have symptoms of spring fever at that time of year? What does it look like? Flowers in bloom? Everything is green? Birds twittering and chirping around? Insects buzzing? I guess springtime rolls around new, fresh and colorful energy. But have you ever wondered what does that spring energy look like around the world? Before I show you a short video on what spring looks like around the world, let's see if you know these words. Please copy them into your notebooks and connect 1 through 6 with the corresponding translation A through F. So, please pause the video and copy the vocabulary items into your notebooks. OK, and we're back. So, in full bloom means upunom cvatu, one C. Wisteria is visteria, glicinia, okay? Vrsta cvjeta. Cascade, kaskada, imenica, ali može biti pridjev stepeničasto. So, three D. Blanket. Može biti imenica, pokrivač, ali i glagol, prekriti. Petal. Latica. 5a. And the last one. Cherry blossom. Cvijet. Trešnje. 6f. Well done. This is another task for you before and during watching the short film I told you about. It's simple. Just copy the questions into your notebooks and during watching, write down the answers. And don't panic, because you control the film speed, meaning you can pause the film as many times as you need and watch it again and again until you're happy with your work. So, these are the questions. Question number one. What happens if you catch a falling petal? What does sakura mean? What is hanami? And the last task for you is to choose top three places from the video that you like best. Now, pause the video and copy these questions into your notebooks and prepare your QR code readers. So, here we go. Scan the QR code or type the bit.ly address into your browser and it will lead you to the film I told you about. 
what spring looks like around the world and remember to do your task. The Beatly address is beat.ly slash number 10 capital S P R I N G A R O U N D T H E W O R L D Spring around the world. Enjoy it! And we're back. Let's check your answers. Answer number one. You will find true love. Sakura means cherry blossoms. Hanami is the custom of enjoying cherry blossom trees. Great, isn't it? I'm sure you did a great job. Well done. Let's take a look at the list of the places from the film. I wonder which one is your favorite. Mine is Kawachi Fuji Garden. The colorful Wisteria Tunnel is a place I wish to experience and fill my heart and soul with. I am definitely going there. South Korea hosts a spectacular event surrounded by fascinating cherry blossoms. Definitely a great choice. Keukenhof Garden in Netherlands is one of the most beautiful spring gardens in the world. Spring in Tokyo is the best time of year to visit. And it's all thanks to Hanami. An incredible time to see Tokyo with cherry blossom trees blooming all over. Monet's Garden in springtime is an amazing and magical place. Washington DC hosts the greatest springtime celebration, the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Another stunning place to visit in spring. So the choice is tough. Do you remember in the beginning of the lesson I asked you these two questions? Are you full of the joys of spring? Any symptoms of spring fever? Do you know the exact meaning of these questions? Well, it's time to learn some idioms and phrases connected to spring. And just to remind you, you are going to use some of them for the top three places you have selected from the video. So take a look at these phrases and idioms. And do you think you could match them with a the corresponding meaning? Let's pause the video lesson. And please copy everything into your notebooks and do the task. Okay, let's check. Full of the joys of spring means very cheerful. Spring fever is a feeling of excitement because the weather suddenly becomes warmer in spring. A spring in your step is when you walk energetically in a way that shows you're feeling happy and confident. When someone has a green thumb, it means that that person is skillful in the garden. And with flying colors means with a very high mark, very well. For example, when you do an exam and you pass it with flying colors, it means that you did well. Okay, time to practice. Scan the QR code or type the Beatly address into your browser. In this exercise, you have to fill in the text with the corresponding idioms or phrases. Have fun and good luck! The Beatly address is beat.ly slash number 5 C-O-L-O-U-R-I-D-I-O-M-S Color idioms. And these are the answers. It's springtime. Any symptoms of spring fever? Well, my friend Gemma is very cheerful about this time of the year. She is full of the joys of spring. 
She loves working in the garden and she's very skillful too. I guess she has a green thumb. Every morning we walk to school together. And when she walks with a spring in her step, I don't like it. I like walking slowly and enjoying the beautiful trees and insects buzzing around. With all that positive energy, I am sure she will pass her tests with flying colors. I'm sure you all did a great job. And the last step of today's lesson, your homework. This is a checklist and it is here to remind you of everything you have to do. Your task is to create a poster showing your selection of the top three world places in spring. Give it a title. Use IT tools like Adobe Spark, Canva, Poster My Wall. If you have some other IT tool that you prefer, you are more than welcome to use it. Use three images, one for each place, and write one sentence saying why that place is special to you. And use two idioms or phrases you learned in today's lesson. After you have finished with your work, Please share it in your virtual classrooms and evaluate your classmates' works. Give two stars for two things he or she did well, and a rainbow for things that needs to be improved. And of course, give an explanation to it, like, I really like, or I think the best thing is, and when there is a rainbow, explain it with this sentence. Next time, try to add or I think you might want to. Now let's reflect on today's lesson. I'd like you to tweet about today's lesson. So after this lesson, I can, you finish the sentence, please. I still need to work on, and then again, you finish the sentence, and I will use this. Again, you finish the sentence. Thank you all for watching and taking part in this lesson. I truly hope you have enjoyed it and learned something new. Until the next time, I wish you a great day and bye-bye.